Hi, I'm Sally, the CEO of Clarity PX. We are a boutique integrated marketing organization that supports smaller and rural community health and wellness companies. The recent rulings last year, the year before, from the Office of Civil Rights that has led to the lawsuits and fees to organizations around tracking pixels has upended a lot of marketing in healthcare. Now there are thankfully many ready companies who are coming to the market with some solutions, but a lot of those are really cost prohibitive. So we have healthcare clients that their compliance department has told them to just shut off tracking. No tracking pixels, no Google tags, no social media <laughs> tracking, no Google Analytics. So now, what do you do? It's difficult to be able to track, is this pay-per-click ad or the Google ad working or not? Well, I think part of the solution for this is integrated marketing. We try to rely so hard on one channel, and yet in today's world, the consumer is changing. They don't want only paid ads. There are some ages of your consumer in social, some that are on different channels, others that watch the news, others that never watch the news. There's so much shift in our world today that relying on one tactic alone won't help you. So while we can't track this ad resulted in this many clicks directly, I believe we will be able to soon. We can directionally get a vision and the goals we need to head to and collectively integrate paid ads, media, PR, social media, traditional media, in-person kinds of visits to move us forward. One client example I'll give you, they needed to fill the funnel on this specific care line that was a big revenue generator for the hospital. Now, what we did was research to identify that there was a gap of this access and availability in the whole broader market for a hundred miles each direction. There was not enough access for the number of patients. So the problem was, how are we going to get people to drive two hours to us? So what we did was got the data. We evaluated where have all the referrals come from in the past. We created kind of this circle of kind of how far people would be willing to go. We identified where the real critical drivers of referrals were, and then we developed a target list of partners, of referring physicians. We did research and found out who the primary insurers were for this small hospital to make sure that we could contact them. Because like I've said in other videos, insurers have people specifically assigned to getting people into this specific care line. So we pulled all the stops. This marketing manager did some direct mail to these case management contacts in all these organizations. They did visits and invited into in-services or staff meetings where they could be in person or by Zoom and present this is who we take. This is the availability we have. This is how you get them to us. I'm your person. Call me. They did that kind of road show, which took, you know, one or two days a month. We did some paid broadcast on a very niche show that provided an amazing video, had a physician interviewed. It was logged to this whole metro area's TV but it also is online. Now this is an asset that we can use on our channels, but that was the B2B piece of it to let patients know you have a choice. Speak up and say what you want. We're trying to educate everybody, the patient, the referring physician, the healthcare partners, etc. And so 
This entire collective approach resulted in five times the goal that this system needed in order to drive more revenue. They were looking for a goal of this. We provided a reality of this month after month after month. So even though we could not specifically say, ah, this traffic to this Caroline page came from this ad, we knew directionally from an integrated approach that we drove business to this Caroline. Now we can't indict one specific channel, but we can say our collective integrated marketing system worked. We did it and we exceeded the goal by building a multi-channel integrated approach.